Okay, a, uh, another experiment concluded in a long string of identical experiments. Uh, yes, I have done many tests also with the control, um, but here I thought I would show you. Um, this is a day seven alpha alpha seed experiment, north pole exposure, south pole exposure. There were a ton of dead seeds on uh, the north pole. Um, about 80% less on south pole. Uh, here you can actually see that uh, the alfalfa root is uh, about twice the size and meet, uh, as to opposed to the North Pole. Now this is the matted mass that always comes out of a North Pole. It doesn't matter how you swish it around when you actually um, rinse them three times a day or basically every six hours or so. And this is always what happens on South Pole exposed seed. They're nice and loose. What you can't see here is the actual smell and taste, which is always the same. Just smells beautiful, like, you know, freshly picked garden greens and the North Pole. It smells chemically, I know that's not really a word, chemically, sort of, yeah, hard to define. Kind of like a nasty smell. The taste, see, look at the matted mass. You know, actually when I first did this experiment, long time ago, and I've done this experiment many times, I thought, well, you know, I just didn't swish the North Pole around enough. You see how matted this is? Look at this. What a mat it is. And this, look, this is the South Pole seeds. Hardy, plump, taste great, smell great, radically different growth. Even just to pluck a bit out of the North Pole, it's so matted together. Tastes awful. Tastes awful! Don't take my word for it. Do it yourself. How many times I've tasted these? These you always got to throw away. They taste that, but well, you know, you can still use. No, they taste that bad. South Pole. Mmm, yummy, flavorful, green, delicious. Go perfect on any salad. These are destined for the trash. These, very, very tasty, very, very healthy for you. Radically different. Radically different. Look at this. Also, the uh, the magnet, which is right here, I used a couple of them, um, to just expose the seeds. This was not during growth, this was just seed exposure only. In other words, I exposed the seeds um, for about six hours. They don't actually need that much exposure. But the way they grow, the only pot part that gets green is right in the dead center here, just like a magnet. They actually form uh, uniquely the mass forms a mass exactly like a magnet where you actually have the divergence curling away from the spatial edge of the mass and the only green part is right in the dead center over here green is everywhere it looks kinda green right here because the only green there is is right in the center it's like well it looks pretty green over here no you're just looking at the center part over here see nothing it's just white very matted see that always turns out that way oh and over here fluffy Tasty, smell great, yummy, radically different. This is seed exposure only. You get a more radical result when you actually expose them um, to a field, both in seed and during growth. Then things get really radical. Then you go, what? Um, nobody has to believe me on this. Experiment for yourself. Isn't it weird? how this actually forms into a lump like a magnet where the divergent edge is dead and withered and mealy and the only uh, green part is right in the center and over here just everything's nice and fluffy and spread out it's always that way it's like well you swish the water around different while they're German nope nope I thought that too but uh, always turns out this way always there's always about four times as many more dead seeds here as there are here Fact, irrefutable, undeniable, test it yourself. So, here's another amazing fact of science. And uh, I understood it uh, when I uh, was uh, writing my book on magnetism. And I understand fully what is going on. And you also have to understand uh, uh, the nature of water. You want to see something really interesting? Uh, it's a discovery I made in Plato's Republic 509D to 511 on uh, incommensurability in the golden section. You actually see this unique triangle right here that's filled in in green. 
right here is an angle of 36, 36 and 108 degrees, and it's 115, right? This, by the way, if you uh, use three of these and overlap them, you end up with the Pythagorean pentagram. This specific triangle, 108 degrees, 36 by 36, you overlap them, you end up with the Pythagorean pentagram. It has to do with incommensurability. But guess what? Look at this triangle closely. That's why it's tattooed on the top of my right hand. This, oxygen, hydrogen, hydrogen. This is also the molecular geometry of water. Water! Hydrogen here, hydrogen here, oxygen here. This is the molecular geometry of water. The basis for all life as we know it. Oh my god! That's right. Check it out. And by the way, I have discovered many secrets, both in the third edition and in the upcoming fourth edition, linking the golden section, the golden ratio, to the basis for all things in the universe, which have to do with magnetism. Remember, 100% of the visible universe is supported, propped up by, give definition by, magnetism and magnetism alone. You remember when back in your science class and your idiot teacher said, Ah, uh, an atom is 99.9999999% empty space. Yeah, it's just nothing. There's a little nucleus and then there's just like a big bubble on the outside. No. The air, if you will, for a good analogy, is propping up the volume in uh, picometers of every atom is magnetism. That so-called empty space, magnetodielectricity. That's what gives volume to 100% of the universe. Oh my god, magnetism's pretty important. Yeah, it is. Why do you think it affects biological systems? Look at this. Fluffy, tasty, smell good. Clumped together, mealy, nasty, smells awful, tastes awful. Oh my goodness. Why is nobody talking about this? Because the world is insane. The world is insane. That's right, kitties. You saw it here first, and I don't give a damn if you believe me. Why don't I give a damn? I don't give a damn because anybody can reproduce this themselves. That means I don't care if you believe me. Because you can reproduce it yourself. If you do it right, hopefully. <laughs> Catch you later. Bye.